today I will discuss about the topic Faraday's method. Which, what is Faraday's method? Now, for the second degree equation of fx, we use simply middle term for finding root. If we consider third degree equation, suppose x is cube minus x plus one, x is cube minus x plus one. For solving this equation, we use zero putting method, or for top, this is use Cardan method. If we take for fourth degree equation or by quadratic equation, then we use Faraday's method to solve the root. What is Faraday's method? First, we consider this is this is also zero. First, is consider the function is x square minus x plus lambda whole square minus m x plus n whole square. Why we choose this type? Here is two x cube. If we square this function, this is our part x square minus x whole square. Then we get x four minus two x cube. If there is five x cube, suppose five x cube instead of two x cube plus five x cube. Instead of two x cube, if we take five x cube, then we take the function x square plus five by two x plus lambda. This is the process of choosing lambda, and this is common for all problem in Faraday's method. So x square minus one plus lambda whole square minus m x plus n whole square each equals to zero. Solving we get x four minus two x cube plus x square plus two x square lambda. Minus 2x lambda plus lambda square. This is for this. Minus m square x square minus n square minus 2m n x equals to zero. Now x4 minus 2x cube. This is also main part. Minus taking minus 2x cube as minus x plus. Taking common in x square, we get 1 plus 2 lambda minus m square. Also taking common in x, this is x, obviously x plus x minus 2 lambda minus 2 m n. And taking constant part, we get lambda square minus n square equals to zero. This is also by quadratic equation and equation number two. Now, equating equation one and two. I mean coefficient. We get x four x four same minus two x cube minus two x cube same for top. X square, we get minus five equals to one plus two lambda minus m square. For x, ten equals to here ten here the function of sorry x here the function x is minus two lambda minus two m n also minus three equals to lambda square minus n square. This is equation number three, four, and five. Now, from three, we get m square equals to m square equals to six plus two lambda. M square equals to six plus two lambda, and from four, we get m n equals to minus lambda minus five, and from Five, we get n square equals to lambda square plus three. Now, m equals to minus of lambda plus five. So m square n square equals to lambda plus five per whole square. Putting the value of put the value of m square and n square. M square and n square. From this m square and n square, we get 
value of m square is 6 plus 2 lambda so 6 plus 2 lambda value of n square lambda square plus 3 equals to lambda plus 5 a whole square solving solving this equation we get 2 lambda cube plus 5 lambda square minus 4 lambda minus 7 equals to 0 this is the cubic equation of lambda now our target is to find for what value of lambda the equation satisfy if we take lambda lambda equals to 1 we get 2 plus 5 minus 4 minus 7 not is equal to 0 if we take lambda equals to 2 so for lambda lambda equal to 1 lambda equals to 2 we get 2 into 8 plus 20 minus 8 minus 7 not is equal to 0 for lambda is equal to minus 1 for lambda equals to minus 1 we get minus 2 plus 5 plus 4 minus 7 this means 0 so lambda equals to 1 is a root of this equation lambda equals to 1 minus 1 is a root of this equation okay now lambda equals to minus 1 is a root of this equation so put the value of lambda in the equation number 6 7 and 8 we get put value of lambda back to minus 1 we get in equation number 6 7 8 either 3 4 6 if we put so m square equals to 6 minus 2 equals to 4 mn equals to minus mn equals to minus 1 minus of minus 1 plus 5 minus 5 so minus 4 n square equals to 4 okay m square equals to 4 n equals to plus minus 2 n square equals to 4 n equals to plus minus 2 how we choose the value of m and n here we find that m n equals to minus 4 so if m be positive then n must be negative if n be positive a m must be negative so if we take if we take m equals to plus 2 then n must be minus 2 n equals to minus 2 if we take m or m is equals to minus 2 then n equals to 2 because product of m and n is minus 4 so we take any one value any one value okay. now we get lambda equals to minus 1 m equals to 2 n equals to minus 2 put this value in equation 1 we get x square minus x minus 1 x square minus x minus 1 whole square plus sorry minus mx minus n mx mean 2x minus n means plus n I mean minus 2 whole square equals to 0 this is also formula of a square minus b square equals to 0 so you can use a plus b into a minus b I mean x square minus x minus 1 plus 2x minus 2 into x square minus x minus 1 minus 2x plus 2 equals to 0 now x square plus x minus 3 whole into x square minus 3x plus 1 equals to 0 so x square plus x minus 3 equals to 0 and by using the formula of Sridharachar's Acharya we get x equals to minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 12 by 2 equals to minus 1 plus minus root 13 by 2 and another way x square minus 3x plus 1 equals to 0 this is also use of Sridhar Acharya formula we get x equals to 
minus b, I mean 3, plus minus b square minus 4 ac, I mean 9 minus 4 by 2. This means 3 plus minus root 15 by 2. Okay. We all know that for a biquadratic equation, the number of root is 4. I mean, there exist 4 roots. So, 1 root is minus 1 plus root 13 by 2 and second is minus 1 minus root 13 by 2. I mean, the roots are roots are minus 1 plus root 13 by 2 minus 1 minus root 13 by 2 3 plus root 5 by 2 and 3 minus root 5 by 2 okay this is the four roots of this equation and this is the four roots four roots of this equation and finally we get four roots of this equation and this method is known as Ferrari's method